I want to show you an oil filter that is by Full. It's a company that I'm new to. Uh, I'm not extremely familiar with them, but they did send me some filters. Uh, I want to say about five to six months ago. I just never got around to cutting them open. I cut open the Honda and the Toyota one last night. Today I'm going to cut open the Ford one. And I have a GM one here too, but I'm not going to cut that open right now. This is a Ford. You can see the different numbers it crosses too, and probably some others that aren't on here as well. And it's equivalent to a FL500S, which that would go on quite a bit of Ford vehicles. It's a very popular filter. It would go on the Explorers. It would go on the F-150s. Uh, so if you're looking for a full part number, here it is. The thing I like about this is it comes in a box and it comes with a sealed end. Most filters don't even have a sealed end out of the box. And these meet OE requirements. Most of the time, from what I've seen so far, it looks like they exceed OE requirements. These are really nice because they have, some of them have this like light film of oil. So it's already on the filter for you, a little bit of grease. Another thing I really like about it is how thick the filter area is and how heavy the base cap is on this filter. And the amount of threads that's in there is so much more than factory style filters. You get five or six threads in the end of these and you're really grabbing the, the base of the oil filter mount. I mean, it's, this is a very, very, very nice filter. It's uh just like I said, it's a high quality oil filter. And they put a lot of filter media in there. It looks like a standard type media, but there's a lot of filter media in here. And the Toyota filter said 30% more filter inside. So they're obviously doing something right. This looks like it's a little bit bigger than an FL500, like maybe just a tad bit taller, maybe a hair wider. So you're getting more filter capacity here than the standard Ford Motocraft one. Let's cut it open. So this is pretty thick and pretty thick gasket. That's a nice heavy cap, and I like how thick those threads are. They're not it's not like a super thin base. Nice diaphragm here. This you know the quality of these feel really really good. They're very, like, uh, durable, but at the same time, hey, look at that. Yeah, that looks like it's got quite a bit more media than a factory Ford filter. Very nice design. Looks like very, very heavy-duty overall. What I'm impressed with is that can, man. How thick the material looks. I wish there was a way I could zoom in. It just feels like the, the quality of the material that they use in the filter housing in general, or this the, the can part of it, is just so much tighter. It could withstand more oil pressure. And some people have said they've had to go to a can like this um, to reduce a lot of engine noise on startup. The spring in this thing was... I mean, when I cut this filter open, the top of it popped all the way up here like this. I mean, it's it definitely looks like a very, very nice filter. I like how they don't have excessive amounts of glue just hanging out at the end of it. It's nice and dressed up inside there. Try to rip some of it off. These are, uh, these are nice. You know, it's full of glue in the end. Very nice filter, very strong filter. It seems like all the supporting stuff on the outside for the filter is really, really good on these. So they definitely are very surprising when it comes to the quality of the metal and how the filter's put together. That is definitely different than other people I've seen so far. So I have to give them the heads up on that. I just need to find the rest of the information on, you know, their actually micron rating and the efficiency of the filter, but I haven't been able to do that so far. Of course, I just started looking as well, so.
This is the full filter that replaces the FL500. Just an unboxing and cut open, guys. That's all I got for you today. We're kind of busy today, so be blessed. And I appreciate you. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm trying to find distributors that actually distribute these. Some people said you can actually find them at Napa, but they're very, very hard to find. They're only at select places. So we'll see. Y'all take care. Have a great day.